Greetings here is more mystery dungeon looks like uh, Mount Thunder only had 11 floors because I was like, oh, I'll do a couple more floors off screen Let's see how we do but nope guess we finished it right up. So here we are It only had 11 floors and we ended off on nine So we just did two more and there wasn't really anything else noteworthy except for hoops leveled up once so here we go uh, We've climbed up so high. I wonder if we're almost at the top uh, Maybe oh is this a checkpoint maybe oh look seven it is a checkpoint. Okay, so we're not done just yet. There's a Kangaskhan statue. Yep, this is a Kangaskhan statue. It lets you move items in and out of the toolbox. It's really useful on adventures. You should use it when you want to organize your items. And not far... Uh, anyway, not far to go now. Let's do this. Yeah, um, let me s put my items in here first. So yeah, it works exactly like a Kangaskhan, except it doesn't talk to you, so it actually works much faster. Um, unfortunately, you can't put the freaking, uh, boxes in there. It looks like those are stuck there. Um... That seems like it could be really good, but not really, not really useful for right now. Um, we'll hang on to the gravel rocks. I'm a think. Okay, okay. Um, I do know that all our PP is probably gonna recharge, so now there's probably gonna be a lot more. This is probably the, ch the checkpoint before Zapdos, right? So like, I'm putting on all my stuff. So I'm gonna take out. Uh, I don't know how strong Zapdos is gonna be. I don't. Let's see. Let's take out. Let's take out four Oran berries. And then I'm gonna take out. I'm gonna take out three reviver seeds. I want to play it safe. So now we have four reviver seeds because I am a water type. We gotta remember that. Um. Everything else, I think we'll be okay. Uh, I don't have any good TMs by the way. When I was when I was farming up the missions, I didn't get any good TMs. So nothing that I can use uh, for any of myself. Also, I have a perfect apple. I don't know where I got it though. Um. Anyway, I think we're all good. Let's continue into Mount Thunder. Uh, how would you like to go on? Yes, I would like to go on. I like how, like, Blu-ray is just sitting right there. Okay, so never mind about the whole, uh... Uh, oh, wait, do we have our APP back? Yes, we do, of course. So never mind about it only having, uh, 11 floors, because we're on the 11th floor right now, just like I said. So here we go. We got our PP back. Team's refreshed. We're all doing good. And seven, getting a level up. You want to, uh, get a new move, please? Maybe Bubble Beam? Mmm? Rapid sp Rapid Spin? No... No. I mean, yeah, it's kind of nice, but, like, it's not worth. Okay. That's unfortunate. Um, yeah, let's give up on Rapid Spin. Bubble Beam will probably be in our mid-20s, so I knew it was probably a little bit, uh, a little bit too early for us to learn Bubble Beam. But, you know, wishful thinking and all. That's why. Okay, we actually two-shot that Manetric, which is pretty cool. And there's another one. Okay, Dunsparce. Dunsparce, careful. Oh, riled up. Um... Oh, that's just when you get hit. Okay. I thought it was like a flinching thing because you we were flinching. Uh, uh, you know? Sure. Why not? Sure. You can come along, Manetric. We have two level 26 Manetrics right now. And that is fine with me because they seem pretty strong and they can definitely hold their own. And against Zapdos, they're not going to have super effective against Zapdos, but if Zapdos goes for like thunder moves on them, that's perfect. That way they can be resisted and I can just chill in the back as a water type being definitely not super effective, or <laughs> other types definitely aren't super effective against me, which doesn't even make sense because <laughs> water, the electricity doesn't travel through water, it travels through the minerals in the water. Ooh, science. Call me freaking, uh, what's his face? The science is the, the, the uh, Clement, that's his name, or Clement. No, I think it's Clement. And he has that stupid, uh, you know, we were talking about the anime in the last episode, right? There's also some pretty bad episodes, too. Yeah. I was telling you how there were some mediocre ones, how I, like, enjoyed it at some times, but other times it just was, like... I guess it's something that's just kind of, like, filler. Like, if it's on in the background, it's, like, perfect. I'll definitely put on, like, a Pokemon episode in the background, and that's, like, just the perfect thing. I can do, like, whatever I want. Um, like, I know sometimes I've even just, like, done... I, like, just, like, wash the dishes, and I just watch the Pokemon episode while I watch, wash them. Like, I, that is something I would do with Pokemon, because it's just, like, it's so brain-dead that, like, everything is so easy, and it's just, like, kind of there, and it's like, hey, it's Pokemon, too, so it's kind of enjoyable. Um, but anyway, there's, like, this stupid episode from the Gen 6 anime with Clement, and he makes this stupid AI robot called Clembot, which literally mimics his every single move. And I st something about the Clembot, the Clembot lore makes me so upset. For one thing, it's a fully functional AI that acts just like a human, pretty much. I mean, it's got like its robotic stuff, but like it still just acts so very similar to a human. It can it can talk with somebody, it can interact with them, and like 
the, it moves, its joints are fine. Like, that is extremely advanced technology for a teenager like Clement, who's probably, like, what, only, like, 10, 11, 12 years old? Like, it, it doesn't make sense. I don't get it. I'm, like, trying my best to put my, to wrap my finger around the freaking Clembot. And, like, whenever Clement, uh, isn't at the gym, oh, no, Dunsparce dies. Sorry, Dunsparce. Um, yeah, I knew these guys they were tough. That's why I tried to come over and help them, but... No, I'm not having three of you. I don't need three of you. No, go away. You killed Dunsparce. I even gave that Dunsparce an apple, and what did you do? You killed him. Okay, jeez! Okay, there's a lot of these guys. There's a lot of friggin' Minetrics here. Um, but the stupid, uh, Minetric... Minetric? The Clembot... It, it serves as, like, the gym leader for when Clement isn't there, and it matches, like, his battle tendencies and, like, how he'd use the Pokemon. And that's, but then, it gets worse. Like, you think that was bad, and, like, you have to, you have to hear about, oh, the frickin' Clembot, but no, it gets worse. Because there's two of them. There is an evil organization who was actually smart enough to know that Clembot is actually some very highly intelligent robot. And they made a dark, evil Clembot version of it. Now, if we, I might talk about a freaking Clembot a little bit later. Maybe in a future episode, but like, gosh, it just makes me so upset. But here we go. It's actually fun time. Here we go. This is the mountain's peak. Yeah, look at this. Hey, Zapdos, where are you? We came to rescue Shiftry. Show yourself. Yeah, he's going to be showing up right away because we disturbed his slumber or whatever. Yo! Ah! <laughs> what? I warned you, I have no mercy for meddlers! Not scared? You don't frighten me! Hey, Zapdos, let Shiftry go! Uh, Pokemon Rescue Team, that's it, we are- look at us, we are ready to go! You must be determined to utter such words! Then you shall answer to my great and righteous fury! Oh boy, our first intense legendary boss battle. Okay, um, he's big. He's big. He is big. He's big, so let us go for this attack. Also, I just realized that, um... Oh, pressure. Uh-oh. Okay, our PP goes down much faster, but I think we'll be okay. Sky attack. Um, who are you attacking? That looks like you're gonna go for me, so I'm gonna swap. You can take the hit, Manetric. Um, and I can let these Manetrics die, because I don't really care about them. Sorry, Manetric. I know it's been cool while it lasted, but, uh, uh I really don't care. I'm sorry. All right, I'm gonna swap with Smoochum. Um, but anyway, what was I gonna say? What was I gonna say? I already forgot. Are you dead? Are we actually gonna kill the Zapdos? No, he wouldn't have more HP than Gengar, right? I mean, jeez, these Manetrics are going in. Pluck. Oh, he could have used... He Oh, no, it's Pluck big, so maybe it didn't work. I don't know. It, it, he could have used, like, a really, really strong attack there, though. Uh, he could, or sorry, he would he could have stolen like a tiny reviver seed, which would have been horrible. Um, but anyway, yeah, we have three reviver seeds left, and Zapdos is burned. Uh, I don't know if burn halves the attack in this game, but like, I would love that if that is the case. Um, doesn't look like Pluck is taking our berries or anything, so that's great. I would love, I would love if the Pluck doesn't work like that. Um, I think it does in, like, if a regular uh, Pokemon used it, but here we go. These freaking Manetrics are putting in the work. They're doing like 30 damage. Okay. Okay. Smoochum, don't die on us. I gave you an apple too. I don't want the two people that I actually gave an apple to die. That would be very sad. I don't want the apple. Oh, we beat him. Okay. Wasn't too tough, but we had pretty strong Manetrics on our team, so we handled that without too much problem. Look at that snout. Look at that. Look, that's just so long. You could put like a sandwich on that. I don't know why I thought of a sandwich, because maybe because it's the $5 foot longs. I don't remember that. Now they're like $6.55. Anyway, yo! <laughs> oh, jeez. What, what is going on? Ugh. Oh! Yo! Oh, yeah. Uh, it's, oh, he's back. Oh, uh, because he had to do something. Do something. Char Smash! He's ready. You want more? I'll take you on. Oh, Char Smash is protecting us. Team ACT is ready. Or ATC. I forget which one it is. ACT sounds boring. That's a freaking test name. Enough! That's enough fighting. I've calmed down. Take Shiftry back. You kids. You've impressed me. But, things won't be easy next time. Next time, I will go all out next time, so you best be prepared. Until then, you'd better hone your skills, you freaking water type. Don't break 30 minute tricks with you next time. See ya! Ah, go <laughs> uh, look! There's Shiftry! The dead corpse of Shiftry! I'm gonna peck him! 
<laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Somehow, I am. I thought I was dead. I'm glad to see you're not dead! But that was an eye-opener. Driving off that Zapdos. I agree. You're awfully strong for a plain Squirtle. Uh-huh. Alakazam is catching on to us, though. I sensed it when we first met. Perhaps. You aren't a Pokemon, are you? What? Or, wow! How can you tell that? But you're right. Seven isn't a Pokemon. Seven is a human. What? A human? Is that possible? Could something like that happen? He doesn't, or he doesn't really know what happened either. He just woke up one morning here as a Pokemon, and doesn't remember a thing about being a human. Oh, oh, that's right! Lombre said something in that square. He said Alakazam knows everything. Alakazam, do you know why Seven became a Pokemon? Ugh, freaking kids. I, what do you expect me to know? I'm literally holding two spoons. I just wanted to go eat some sherbet at the freaking <laughs> ice cream store. No, <laughs> I can't determine that. Oh, I thought you would know. However, there is one way to unveil the truth. Oh, really? How? Make your way to the Hill of the Ancients. There, you will find a Pokemon that stares into the sun all day. A Pokemon who is said to see into the future. Zatu is his name. He should shed light on your puzzling feet or friend. Okay, so we should go see Zatu. Seven, let's roll. We're going to the Hill of the Ancients. There's no time to lose. We'd better go back quick. Shiftry, you too. Let's hurry back. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I guess we should. <laughs> Shiftry is like so, he's like the odd one out here. Um, Seven? Uh, yeah, I'm calling. I just wanted to, don't just stand around. Let's go back. Sorry, I wanted to talk to cool Alakazam. I wanted to eat some sherbet with him. <laughs> okay, uh, are they just going to chill there? Alakazam, I know you. I don't think you're completely ignorant about this. Hmm. You know something, don't you? Or, or, or my name isn't Char Smash. There is some- Oh, no portrait? Oh. There is something that concerns me. But it should go unspoken for now. For their sake. Uh-oh, Alakazam, what do you know? What does Alakazam know about us? Huh. Maybe they- Maybe he knows how we were turned into a human? Could be, who knows? Okay, these freaking Pokemon that I'm gonna abandon. <laughs> yes, it barely fits. Wait, no, it doesn't. Does it? No. Do I I wanna put the space in there? No, okay, fine, 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 fine. Clembot bad. <laughs> I literally hate Clembot. It's so stupid. Clembot bad. Yes, Clembot is bad. <laughs> Alright, Smoochum, you can be named B movie. That's cool. <laughs> And then I'm just gonna abandon all the rest of the mines and steal their money. The next morning, okay. No, still no dreams about Gardevoir. I meant Trap Inch. Uh, <laughs> okay, Pelipper, I'm ready. I'm ready for you to vomit some more letters into my mailbox. Where are you? Well, first hoops. Seven, morning. I did a little checking around yesterday. The Hill of the Ancients is in the Great Canyon. Let's roll. We're off to the Great Canyon. After Pelipper vomits some letters? Huh? What's up with you? Uh, listen, Hoops, there's some Pelipper who's supposed to- <laughs> Huh? What's that? Uh, why don't you let me have my cereal? Uh, why are you so fired up? <laughs> why? What do you need- or what? You need to ask? Uh, you work so hard for others. For others? Now that's cold. You and me, we're friends, right, Seven? I want- I want to do my best because it's for you, Seven. Even though I've only known you for like two weeks. That's what it's about. So anyway, let's give it our best, as usual. Okay, well, I appreciate that, Hoops. You are very kind, and I'm glad that you are my pal in this adventure. Okay, so he stuck three letters in there. Five bucks says we only have two. Okay, no, it's actually three. Wow, okay, I guess, yeah, I know you, like, how many dollars do I even owe my viewers right now? I've bet five dollars so many times, and I've lost so many of it. I gotta start making bets of, like, ten and actually winning them. <laughs> okay, uh, Great Canyon, okay. Um... Should we just head on over there? I think we can. Let's start heading into Grand Can- Grand Canyon. Great Canyon. And, um... Let me exchange my items first. I think I have a little too much on me right now. Alright. This is the Great Canyon. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. The peak is called the Hill of the Ancients. 
Alakazam said that the Hill of the Ancients is on 13F. That's where we'll find Zatu. Seven, let's give it our best. Ooh, this music. Listen to this. Oh, I love this. I don't even want to talk over this. This sounds so good. I've heard it before too, but like not as often as like any of the other songs. Cause I'm pretty sure. Yes, Dunsparce comes back. <laughs> yes, come back Dunsparce. I don't know why you're level 16. Why is this dungeon harder? I mean, he still really can't join us, but like, I don't know, it's nice for him to actually be along for the ride. Oh, I thought we were about to have an easy time because I thought it was going to be like a whole bunch of uh, ground types, but uh-oh. Maybe not so much. With a freaking Vileplume? I mean, Vileplumes? That's kind of a late game enemy, I think. At least you'd think so. Okay, another Dunsparce. Okay, I don't, I'm not having any of this. Perish. I only want one Dunsparce on my team. I don't need three. I mean... Well, I would have had three if he wouldn't have died. Okay, let's grab this item and head on up. Yes, I'd like to go on. Anyway, what was I talking about? Yeah, freaking Clembot. Um, so, where did I leave off? Oh yeah, so basically, yeah, the Clembot, it, it takes the place of Clement when he's not there. But what makes Clembot, like, or what makes it even, like, worse is there's an episode much later in the anime um, where a new Clembot shows up called Dark Clembot. And, like, it's literally just a complete copy of the freaking, um, actual Clembot, except it's literally just, like, a slightly darker, like, palette. It's got, like, slightly darker armor, and it, like, is evil, because, like, this team was like, ooh, we can use the freaking, uh, we can use the Clembot. Uh, it's, like, it's battle stuff, and he can, uh, he can do, he can do bad things because we're bad people. Haha, -ha. Dark Clembot will be the person to fight for us, because, like, Oh, we have the strength of a gym leader on our side since, like, Clement is pretty much a gym leader. And Clembot has all the knowledge that Clement does. So, it, that's just kind of how it works, I guess. Also, nice hop up there. That's pretty epic. I like an epic hop up every now and again. Um, er, that is a hop up, right? Skip Bloom. Never mind. I'm so stupid. Hop up is the one before it. I'm so stupid. Oh my gosh. There's a Kecleon shop here. Okay. Uh, let's check out the Kecleon shop. Um... But anyway, I forget exactly how the episode of the freaking Clembot and the Dark Clembot ends, but all I know is that it's stupid and I hate it. And also, um, I think the two Clembots fight it out and I think the original Clembot wins because, oh, he's the original and he's he's the Clembot. Like, I just, ugh. It's so dumb. Like, uh, every episode was like torture to watch. I just didn't want to ever see it ever again. Okay, hey, Kecleon, how are you doing? Uh, good to see you keeping uh, keeping your goods all good so do you have any um broken ones this is it i need to collect a lot of these for the late game no <sighs> i get scared when i attack stuff in a kecleon shop i do not i do not want to cause any problem okay look out kecleon i feel like i i feel like i just like am misremembering this but i swear at one point an enemy picked up an item and tried to walk out of a kecleon shop and it like triggered the kecleons to go after them i think that's fake but i swear I just have a weird feeling that, like, that happened to me. And I think it was fake, but, like, that'd be kind of cool if it worked both ways. Where, like, if an enemy tried to pick an item, and then if the Kecleon killed it, it would leave the item outside, like, its shop, and then you could go get it. That actually be kind of busted, so that, no, it de that definitely doesn't happen. I probably just made that up. Um, but that, was, that would still be, like, a really cool mechanic. Like, if an enemy could pick up the item from the Kecleon shop, the Kecleon would kill it. Oh! Um, why the heck am I remembering your name? You're the evolution of Cacturn. Why the heck can I remember your name? It's not very effective. On who? What is your name? Why can't I think of your name? Cacturn. Well, it is just Cacturn. Okay, I, I literally, like, was thinking the name Cacturn, and it was just like, no, you're not Cacturn. Okay, Cacturn. Um, well, considering I forgot your name, you can totally come along with us. Cacturn is now an adventure. So I literally thought this was going to be full of, like, ground types, and it's full of, like, grass types. So that's, uh, pretty epic. I'm glad that I can't actually recruit any- Oh! Oh! A Brelum, too. Okay, Brelums are scary because they have a high attack stat. And a Murkrow! Hey, Murkrow! What's good? What's good, Murkrow? I actually really like Murkrow. Something about Murkrow's design is really cool. And like Honchkrow, it's like got a hat. Or, I guess I- I guess I'm more just like misplacing my love for, uh, Miss Drevis. I don't know what it is, but I could never find a Miss Drevis in my game. Like, in freaking Diamond Pearl Platinum. Could never find a Mistrevis. Apparently, it's like a 5% chance in 
Ah, uh, what is it? Eternifor- Why did you do that, Cacturn? Why? I mean, I'm not even on the other spikes, but like, why would you do that? I think uh, that's just dumb. <laughs> spikes are so dumb. Um, but I could never switch. I'm not bothering with this Brelum. Brelums are too scary. That's why. They can absorb, and that would done- that would have done like 20 damage to me. And like, he would have been able to keep doing that, and I just- I'm just not- I'm not for it. I mean, that is good right there, because that is, uh, four times effective, because I think they're also fighting type? I'm pretty sure, unless they're- they're- they're just grass type and they get fighting moves, but I swear. I think they are grass fighting. Um, no Cacturn. We're gonna abandon that Cacturn. Uh, was that Cacturn level 32? I better have been reading that wrong. A level 32 Cacturn? It probably said 22, but I swear I read 32. It better not be. Um... Now let's keep going. Great Canyon is kind of scaring me. It seems to be a little bit stronger than I had planned for. Here we go. There's the ground types that I was thinking. There we go. Now we can one shot. Okay, not one shot, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. We're buff. We are seven. We are hoops, and we are Blu-ray. We are we are the squad. Like our squad right now is so strong. I I and maybe it's just because we have like so many bonds with us too. But like this is such a strong squad. I have had no problems, like, with anything yet. But we also haven't run into any monster houses just yet, and monster houses are the true test of strength. Even though in the newer games they are so much easier to deal with now that you can push your, uh, pals back. Because in the previous games you weren't able to push, so you'd literally just be like... Like, if this was a monster house... Okay, hold up. Uh, can you please kill that, Cacturn? Dunsparce, you got it. Don't die. Come on, don't die this time. Vileplume, you want to help him out? Dude, Vileplume! I'm scared, but here's Rage. Yeah, I know, he's scared because it's low HP. But anyway, if this is Monster House right here, I would want to swap and be like, okay, let's get out of here. And then I'd keep walking, but Magmite would stay there and keep fighting the Monster House people. And, like, your partner, if you if your partner dies, you die too. Like, in the in the older games. I think that's, that's the case in uh, these games too. But it's just like, what the heck? Why would you... It, it, it's just dumb. But now that you can push them back, you can push your partner away and then they're not gonna bother, which is super cool. They won't bother fighting. Okay, speaking of not bothering fighting, can we not fight like every single freaking cacturn that comes in, in front of our face? Because I really do not want to have to deal with 500 cacturns today. Also, look at that. That is so nice, having like bubble and signal beam. Look at that. You're dead, Brelum. Don't even try. Don't even try to mock punch me. Oh, you want to come with me? Do you even have mock punch right now? I don't know. Ah, uh, sure, come on, Brelum. This doesn't look like a place- I mean, I guess it's like a desert. But like, why is there so much greenery in a desert? Okay, that training search is pointless. Why is there so much greenery in a desert? You'd think it'd be like, ground-ish. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Okay, um... I think we're gonna speed this up. We're gonna go ahead a few floors, because I haven't seen too much anything noteworthy. Uh, and plus, I kinda wanna preserve this. I wanna try and keep these, uh... All in one episode. Okay, there's a hair across there. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm definitely scared of multi-hit moves in this game. Very scary. Very, very scary. But Peck should be able to deal with hair across without too much trouble. But anyway, yeah, I just wanted to say that um, uh, we're almost out of time, so I wanted to see if we can sneak in uh, getting the rest of freaking the Grand Canyon in this episode. Or the Gra why do you want the Grand Canyon? Maybe because that's an actual place in the world, um, which honestly I'd really like to go see someday. It looks really fun. So um, if I ever do go. You can definitely expect there to be a video about it, even though, um, actually, no, we, we can save that topic for the next video. Um, I kind of want to talk about, um, genuine experiences versus uh, people who only go there for, to say that they were there. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. Maybe I'll look up what the term is. Um, oh gosh, multi-hit moves. Okay. 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 Spikes too. Oh, it didn't work. Awesome. Alright, so yeah, anyway, I'm going to continue on. Uh, maybe I'll skip a few floors, and I'll be back in just a second. Oh, here we go. Uh, Hoops is trying to learn Fire Spin? Uh... Uh... Uh, no. Fire Spin sucks. Okay, no. We're not learning Fire Spin. Fire Spin sucks. Also, I killed an Ariados for that, so there's apparently Ariados is on this floor, too, so that's pretty epic. Oh my gosh, I'm so lucky. I just got- I literally spawned near the stairs, like, four turns in a row. Oh my gosh. I don't- I don't- I don't- I didn't show up, but I'll show, like, four- I'll show, like, the pictures of where I spawned right- I spawned next to the stairs, like, five times in a row. That was so fast. Oh my gosh. I totally skipped, um... Wait, what the- Oh, okay, that was- that was my vile plume. Okay. I totally skipped it, though. Oh, there's a Houndoom, too? That's cool. 
Jeez, it feels like I'm speeding through this game. It feels like I'm still in the beginning, but I guess we're running into high level mons. Okay, here we go. Floor 13. Zatu, where are you? Yes, we finally made it to the top, Seven. Um, I don't see any Zatu though. So, this is the Hill of the Ancients. Yeah, looks pretty cool. Look, over there. Oh, is there Zatu? Oh, there he is. Oh, hello, Zatu. Seven, is that Zatu over there? Uh, yeah, I'm assuming so. Who else would it be? Considering I know exactly who it is because that's exactly what a Zatu looks like from the back. Uh, excuse me, are you maybe Zatu? Hello? <laughs> maybe he doesn't hear me. Hello? <laughs> He's getting upset. Freaking guy is meditating too hard. Hello? Hmm. <laughs> he does not care. It's useless. He's not responding at all. Maybe he's sleeping while on his feet? Seven, what should we do? Oh, let's tickle him. <laughs> huh? Tickle him? Uh, okay, I'll try it with my non-existent arms. Then I poke him with your feet. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Nothing. Tickle, 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 tickle. Nothing. Tickle, 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 tickle. Nothing. <laughs> tickle, tickle, tickle. <sighs> well, you're tired out from tickling? It's useless, Seven. I'm not even getting any response. <laughs> huh? <laughs> uh, he finally started laughing. Maybe... Is he just dense? <laughs> Yikes, he did the sound for me. Witness it. The sinking of the sun. Indeed. I... I'm Zatu. You discerned my true identity. Not that it was any difficult if you've literally played Pokemon once. You are not an ordinary sort. Guessed your identity? That's a bit much. No, I can tell this. You there. You are no ordinary Pokemon. You are... A squir- I mean, human, yes? Huh? How can you tell that? All day, I stare at the sun, unblinking. I've gotten blind because I can't afford sunglasses from Dollar General. It gives me sight for all things. The past and the future, too, at the cost of seeing the present because I'm blind. Then you've got to tell us, Zatu. This is my friend Seven. My friend woke up one morning as a Pokemon, without remembering anything from being a human, too. Zatu, you can tell, can't you? Can't you tell us? Hmm. The calamities of nature there have been many in recent times. They occur because the world's balance is upset, and you are becoming a Pokémon. They are tied together, and separably so. Wait, so becoming a Pokémon and the natural disasters? They're related? What do you mean? What does Seven have to do with the natural disasters we've been seeing? Hmm... What is it? Hey! Why did you clam up? Come on, tell us, please! They are bigger concerns, I am afraid. The world's balance must be restored. Or the unthinkable shall befall our world. What? What did you say? The world... The unthinkable is gonna happen? Every day I see it. The same future every day. I dread it. Z Zatu? I fear it. The world's destruction. The world's destruction? I feel like I'm trying to make a joke, <laughs> but there's no jokes to be made. Kicker! <laughs> Isn't that a surprise? That seven was human. That's going to be useful. <laughs> this should be interesting. Kicker! <laughs> Okay, Gengar, he's up to trouble, of course. Frickin' Gengar. Team meanies. Okay, okay. Looks like we got some good old goodies, and I'm all proud of that. Rip Dunsparce. Okay. I'm gonna skip this. Be right back. Alright, this vile plume is being called antiquated. That's one of my favorite words. It's not even like... <laughs> It's like my go-to word is like I wanted to sound smart in a random conversation, even though it's not that like crazy of a 
it's not that big of a what am i trying to say a vocab word i just like it it's one of my favorite words antiquated so there we go uh there's no camp for cacturn it's so sad seeing like there's no camp for pokemon with a smile on its face <laughs> And this Breloom's name is Breloom because the face it made literally looks like a bra moment. <laughs> the next morning. Okay. Um, yeah, yawn. Good day and all. But I think we're going to call the episode right here in our old house with the sun shining in. So I will see you all in the next episode when Hoops is going to talk to us. And then probably Gengar is going to do something stupid. I don't know. We'll have to see. Actually, no. Let's just step out right outside. Let's just see what Hoops wants to do real quick. We, we have a couple more minutes. We can go off a little bit over time. Come on, what do you got to say for me, Hoops? Morning, Seven. Let's keep doing our best. Actually, I need to ask you something. Remember what Satu said yesterday? Does it bother you? Um, yeah, kind of. The future at risk? Yeah, I thought so. It would bother me too, Seven. You said there's a link between the world's balance being upset and how you became a Pokemon and how the upset balance is causing natural disasters. And worst of all, he said our world would be ruined if the balance isn't restored. I want to do something, but I don't really get it. Tell me, the world's balance. What is that? Seven, do you know what the world's balance is? Uh, nope. Don't know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I guess so. It'd be impossible to know. I don't have a clue what the world's balance is about. Honestly, I don't know what to do. Yeah, me neither, Hoops. I guess we'll just have to do what we can. One thing at a time. Okay, no Pelipper? Okay. Um, I guess we're just gonna have to tackle on some more missions in the next episode. Maybe I'll do... Maybe I'll just do them off screen. Who knows? We'll have to see. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. Uh, looks like the plot is thickening with Zatu and his predictions of the future. Uh, maybe we should go buy that poor guy some sunglasses so he doesn't have to keep staring off with his... Actually, it wouldn't matter. He's already blind. So you know what? Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.